oh boy, oh boy. If it isn't, this again, again. Um, there's no video for the Starfinders because the people in question were like, <laughs> and in return I was like, <laughs> which is a. Uh... Actually, it was session zero. There was much to talk about, but the characters are mostly set up now. One person might drop out. That's okay. But the rest all seem set up and ready to go. It's great! Great! Oh, I could give you a sneak preview into their character sheets. Just a tiny baby one. Just a little sneakity peekity. It'll be exciting. Trust me on that. So I think about the sensors doesn't work for me. Huh. Hey, Sean. I decided to change it a bit because it works better. The Summer Festival doesn't just get cancelled. There's a lot more need a lot more for that. Which just shows you that Remy at this point doesn't give a shit. Like, wouldn't Remy be a little bit more on the safe side of like we shouldn't do this? Just saying. It's kinda goofy that Remy is like, we gotta do the social occasion, even though I'm social awkward. Wouldn't he be happier that people aren't like eh, whatever. I know I was I would, does it. Food vendor. So he's called food vendor regardless, or... Yep, okay. I like that! I like you can do that in this game. You can just hide people's information. I mean, I understand I want to put too much pressure on the dynamics between the player and Zhang, but this scene, really straightforward for something that shouldn't be. Also very helpful, even for a food vendor. Kinda weird that this happens. I had a different chocolate bar today. There's a company that makes very odd flavors, and they made cinnamon biscuit. It reminds me of Peppernut without the sweetness. It actually has a certain charm to it. I don't think I'm going to buy it again. It's just a little too bland for my palate. You know, it's really nice weather outside. Maybe I'm going to go outside after this, before I start doing more stuff. Because I really could do with a little bit of sunshine in my life. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Maybe you should do the same. 
Like, I don't care if you go out there and take go for a walk now or at night when it's quiet or something, but at least get some sunlight on your skin. It'll help a lot. I changed this line a bit because it fits for Zhang Zhang. Hunger is my speciality. Because he is a food vendor. I imagine he'd pull something like that. Why would dragons have vegetarian options if they're primarily a carnivores? Like, humans have a hunter-gatherer instinct, but dragons would probably... M well, it depends on the source dragon, so I can... Mm. So here's the thing that gets me. I didn't know this for the longest time. But grilled cheese does not actually refer to just grilled cheese. It actually refers to a sandwich. Wow. Okay, now... <sighs> I mean... On one hand, yeah, you kind of need to know allergies. But on the other hand, shouldn't you teach your kid not to do that too? Like, the responsibility lies more with the parents and the kid, than I, in my opinion. So take some personal responsibility, people. I, I, but, I, but, but anyway, like, this gets me. Like, it's not this. It, it's, it's a, it's a tosti. They call that a croque monsieur. Toasty. Here. This, this, this is called grilled cheese. We got a special iron to make these things. We call it a croque monsieur. A croque madame. I just like saying it like that. Or a broque madame if you happen to play that Mario game. Oh. <coughs> This was so surprising to me, to learn that th this is what it is. It's not actually grilled cheese, it's a sandwich. It was so weird. Man, these things are great, though. Mm. Too bad we don't have an iron for these. Oh, it's so good, they're so good. There's something about it when you heat up like cheese and meat that makes it so... Mm. Mm, delicious. Mwah. Five star chefs can eat it because it's delicious. And they'd probably enjoy a nice simple meal from time to time. <laughs> and with translations like these, people will be like, Oh, I know what that is! Again, vegetarian comes up, which kind of neat. Adding a little line about Tosties so that it lines up a bit better. Why would you pack it up? <laughs> Who the fuck eats meatballs in a bag? You eat them on a stick. Or like on a plate. I don't know, how do people serve them here? You usually have cups for them or something. Anyway, I don't think you wrap them up. You let all the juices flow into the paper now. Why, though? Why is it free? Like, even the perspective of, you're human, you'll make advertisement, doesn't work if there's no one there to see it! I guess Shang is just being nice. Maybe he's hoping a good word to mouth. Maybe he's just being friendly. He's like, ah, whatever, it's the festival. You chumps! You chump showed up too early! Here's something so that you're not the chumpiest of chumps.
Nope. How many lives have we done anyway? Around a hundred. Okay. Like, here's the thing to note about this. When does this song ever play? Funness. Precaution taken! Ba -da -ba -da -ba 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 -da. Aren't I smart? I've done something I should have done forever ago! Oh, cool! Okay. So this is a Dean's- oh, oh, yes, this is a Dean's song, isn't it? Yay! But yeah, sitting down with a bite, apparently, is a- was, for me at least, once, a very, uh, mental experience. Whew! I don't know, this song kind of fits a Dean, but th the fact that a Dean is in a bad mood makes the song a little too optimistic. <laughs> There's a fun term for people who like to uh, to flash. It's called pencil seller, pencil vendor, put load vendors. It's a great word. Funny thing is that the term vendor means seller, vendor, um, but vent means person, means dude. Man, Remy is really positive, isn't he? For someone who was like, I'm gonna kill myself, he sure is optimistic in the scene, isn't he? Like, he turned around- Like, this fucker had much of his problems solved in like a week. <laughs> Holy shit, Remy. Like, if that doesn't prove that his problems were if either mostly imaginary, if not there at all, and he was just kind of overblowing it because it was dramatic, which is weird because he kills himself. Like, if someone's gonna kill himself, I don't think they're gonna, they're gonna cheer up this quickly. Like, I imagine him to be a bit more self-destructive, like a little bit more trying to claw back to the old ways. Why would you delay the whole festival, though? Why would you delay the entire festival for fireworks, which will happen anyway? Man, I don't like festivals like these. Big busy, little me.
Adding a little splash here, dragons in all shapes, sizes, and colors wa uh, meandered around in waving colors of waving rivers of color. That really sells on it, though, doesn't it? That really makes you that paints a nice picture of like just waving rivers of people, because that's what those masses are like. And I'm gonna fucking drown if I try to go there. Bring your grappling hooks, kids. Yeah, here's another thing that gets me, is that since most of these people are this old... Although Remy's not that old. Remy's just a fucking bitch. I mean, he's just saying this because I don't want to get in. Which is nice! A subtle little... Ah, there's an excuse on top of me being shy. So, <coughs> another thing that <coughs> another thing that gets me about all of this is the whole. Um, how do I put this? How do I explain this? Um, Yeah, uh, one of the reasons your dates, <coughs> you're you're kind of cancelled out of other level five dates at this level four dates, is you only really can go to the festival once, I guess. Yeah, like, the festival thing, can I just say that that reminds me of, I'd never played this game, but Majora's Mask, doesn't it have that festival thing, and then everyone's like, well, the moon's gonna kill us. That's retail! I don't know what the librarian standards are, but I'm pretty sure you don't have to smile. Especially not if you're an actual archivist. Your position is above that! You're like in that weird middle management position where you're not representative of the company, but you're also not representative of the company. Like you're sandwiched between the people that, that people see and the people that show up on the news.
Well, I think we're going to stop off here. Because it's starting to turn a bit. And my hand is a bit... Ech. Ech. But hey, we had fun! Yeah! We learned about grilled cheese and sandwiches. About the... And the... Madame. I will never stop saying that. Oh, it doesn't feature pronunciation. Mr. Crunch! Yeah! That's a great name! Oh, that's such a good name! Let's have a bite out of Mr. Crunch! You know what? I'm gonna... Give me a moment. Give me a moment. I'm gonna give... I'm gonna give you all a Mr. Crunch! Because I just bought some Pringles. Why not take a Mr. Crunch out of these? Mmm. Now... That's not a grilled bread kind of crunch. But you can pretend. Huh? Whoop. Mmm. It took eight years for literature to catch up to reality. And they say fiction is weirder than... Actually, it's reality. It's weirder than fiction. Fiction has to live up to certain rules. Reality can do whatever. Like in fiction, a character doesn't randomly die by falling off the stairs. Which makes no fucking sense at all. Actually, I'd... Nah. I'm gonna go outside, I think. I hope y'all have fun. Enjoy your Thursday, Friday, Wednesday. I don't know what... I don't know where you live. I don't know what you're doing right now. <gasps> there it is! Oh! Impossible. Or as that man from that show... I should watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Because I've seen a compilation of like that guy going, Oh my god! And I'm just like... <laughs> That's great! <laughs> so, so great! I should watch it, but fuck if I know where to do it. And fuck if I'm gonna invest the time. If I ever get the opportunity, I'm not gonna turn it down. Sounds like a hoot and half. In Catalonia, it's known as a bikini. Welp. Welp. <laughs> yeah, I'm just having so much fun. Whee!